Hi, Speaker Cooper here, and welcome to our Facebook Live tour of the legislature. Thank you so many of you uh, watched last week and the week before. It's been so great to be able to show you some of the unique parts of this amazing building, the people's house, your house, uh, here in the legislature, and that's what we want to do this afternoon uh, as well. We have a really great tour planned for you, some of the areas of the legislature that the public doesn't have access to, so I'm happy to be able to show you that firsthand. Uh, for those of you who are just joining us, if you do have a question, uh, we might have some time at the very end uh, for questions. Uh, our time's a little bit constrained today because we have uh, the legislature's actually sitting at 1.30 for a question period, so I encourage you to tune into that. Uh, right now, we're on the fifth floor of the Legislative Assembly, and this is a really a great uh, floor uh, because it pays tribute to uh, some of the strong women of Alberta's history, including the famous five uh, on the other side of uh, the rotunda from where we are now, but as well the partners in service. And while they haven't all been women, certainly uh, the majority of them are, and uh, that is exactly what we have behind us. It is a tribute to the partners in service from everyone from Maddie Rutherford uh, all the way down the ray uh, to... Um, Ruth Strom and uh, Margaret Gett and Marie Stelmack. In fact, last week, many of you will remember the portrait of Premier Stelmack that actually has Marie's picture in it. Uh, and so it's great. I really love that the Legislative Assembly Office has taken the time to uh, show some, um, no, or at least notice, the impact that families have uh, in service. So now we're really heading into the back part of the legislature, if you will. Um, and this area is obviously where a lot of our janitorial work takes place. Uh, I might just say to you that uh, it's, there, there may be some parts of the tour today that we lose each other, but we will come right back if that happens. Uh, we're heading up the stairs now to the Palm Room. And uh, if any of you have watched videos on the internet uh, of the speakers in the past, you'll see that I've done a video from the Palm Room, but I think this is really cool for you to be able to see what it's like to get up there. Obviously, the building was built over 100 years old, so these stairs are very narrow and tight. Um, the hallway or, you know, the roof here is only a little bit more than five feet. I think it's very cool, this set of stairwell. You can see over 100 years of wear and tear on these stairs uh, has footprints on the steps, or at least wear marks, as we head up these steps into the palm room. It is really an amazing view from way up here, and I uh, have to catch my breath a little bit. We've gone up a number of flights of stairs. Now, there are a lot of different theories about how these palm trees actually arrived here in what is now referred to as the palm room which is uh, high above the legislature floor. We can look down over the edge and see uh, the fountain that I've spoken about in the past, which was, of course, installed for Queen Elizabeth. Um, long may she reign, her first official visit to Alberta. Uh, and so there's been lots of discussion over the years about how these palms got here. There's a number of theories that uh, in the late 1930s that they were actually a gift from the state of California to the province of Alberta. But uh, during the 30s, there's no official record of the governor of California visiting Alberta. So that would uh, be a little bit unique, but we certainly do have photos of the palms uh, in, in the 30s. Uh, that, that places them here in the legislature. The other theory is that during the, uh, the Los Angeles Olympics around that time, the city of Edmonton actually represented uh, Canada in a basketball, in the Olympics, in the sport of basketball. And there was an exhibition game between the team from Edmonton and a team from Los Angeles at the time. And so they, there are some theories that uh, they may have been a gift at that time as well. No matter how they got there, it is the coolest feature here in the legislature building. Before we head up even higher, I wanted to show you some of the other unique features of the Palm Room. 
uh, some of the great views that we have here. Looking to the west, uh, we have uh, a great view down of the Edmonton River Valley. Uh, we also see the Union Jack, of course, flying uh, proudly above the legislature. As everyone will know, that we are part of the Commonwealth as well. Uh, we participate in the Westminster parliamentary system. Uh, which is a long tradition of uh, the way that we govern here in the province of Alberta, and that's based on, of course, our relationship with the Commonwealth and uh, the United Kingdom. Here, looking directly south uh, from the Palm Room, we see another dome, and that dome is actually the dome that is over the chamber of the Legislative Assembly. So right below there is where the lawmaking, the debating, the discussion actually takes place. And that's going to be happening today at 1.30. Uh, you can join us live for question period, and I'll be presiding over that. And, of course, we have the great Canadian flag, and today it's a little bit windy out there, so they're all flying so proudly. I wanted to show you one more thing, uh, the view to the east of uh, the Palm Room, and we see the Alberta flag flying high above the building, and that's actually directly over the Premier's office. So the Alberta flag flies just above the Premier's office, and uh, it's a magnificent part of the legislature. It's the only place in Canada that has um, palms in, in the upper portion of the rotunda. It's very unique, and it's one of the uh, really cool things about our building here. The other thing that is super cool, and I can assure you uh, very, very, very few people have been to the bell tower and uh, have seen uh, what we're about to see together. So we're going to take our time. Uh, there are a number of flights of stairs that we have to uh, ascend, and so hopefully we won't lose you at all during that time. If we do happen to lose you, we'll catch you back up in the bell tower, and we'll be able to share a little bit about what happens up there, uh, and we're going to do this as, as carefully as possible. So, as you can see, the steps are uh, quite narrow, and uh, we'll, we'll head up these uh, steps, and we'll, we'll stop and give you some views of uh, the, the view down over the rotunda as we head up uh, as well. One of the other great features of the Palm Room is the upper windows uh, here in, in the Palm Room that provide some additional light, but I think that they're so neat as well because they look a little bit like ship windows. You can see here as we continue to proceed up above the palms uh, these windows as well. I have that song in my head of climb, climb up Sunshine Mountain. I'll spare everyone by not singing it, but you get the sense. Here we are. Uh, this portion that we're now moving into is uh, actually above the palm room now and you can see there is the dome uh, that forms the roof of the palm room and we're heading up to the bell tower uh, which is a series of stairwells and right above us is the actual outside of the building the point of the legislature building If you just wait, or if you can continue up, you can see the cool brickwork uh, of the wall, and of course it's all reinforced. And if you just wait right there, I'm just going to uh, open up the hatch here, and we'll head up into the palm room. Or into the bell wow. Here we are. Hi, hi, city of Edmonton. in the palm room or in the bell 
magnificent view of the Canadian flag to the south tower and uh, just a 360 degree panoram panoramic view, easy for me to say, uh, of the city of Edmonton's downtown. We have immediately over my shoulder here, I'm not sure if you can see it in your screen, but uh, that is the Edmonton Federal Building, which is where a lot of the uh, offices that make our democracy work uh, are actually housed. And uh, you can see both the Walterdale Bridge and the High Level Bridge uh, here in downtown Edmonton. The paint about the contains two very important pieces of equipment. Uh, one is the carillon, and or at least we have an electronic carillon now. At some point in time, uh, there was a uh, a physical carillon, if you will, that uh, and uh, until the mid 80s we actually had a provincial carillonist and uh, every Sunday afternoon they would play a concert which essentially was a concert uh, or very similar to the sound of bells uh, that would play out over Edmonton in the capital here uh, uh, and and it was a real gift if you will to the province of Alberta uh, in uh, 2013 um, in uh, or 2003 I believe uh, upon our centennial, they actually moved from the physical carillon to an electronic carillon, and so now we have a bell system that, that still plays, still sounds out the sound of uh, every, every hour. Uh, it also, at six o'clock, there is a, a, a concert, if you will, or some music that's played uh, through here, the carillon. The other thing that's very cool is the light right above my head. Anytime that the legislature is sitting at night, uh, the way that you can know is that if this light is turned on, it's the only time that that light actually uh, is illuminated is if, uh, if the legislative session is in and members of the legislature are way below us uh, uh, debating the important issues of our province. And while I said they are below us, again, it's not immediately below us because we are essentially right above the fountain, directly uh, all the way up to the top of the building. And the, uh, the legislative dome is actually the one just to the south of us. The other thing that while we're here, I might just point out to you if you're ever visiting the Legislative Assembly of Alberta. It's a great opportunity to, to walk around what we call the Legislative Precinct, uh, all the way from uh, north of us, where in just a couple of weeks, the fountains will be filled with water and people are able to, um, hopefully, depending on the global pandemic, and uh, hopefully be able to utilize those to play in. Uh, certainly typically happens during the summertime. And then on the south uh, of us, we have the South Lawn, uh, which includes the Lawn Bowls Club, which I mentioned two weeks ago, as well as the Band Shell, where concerts and other activities will take place. And the other great thing, if you ever have the opportunity to come visit us, is the number of monuments and important uh, um, remembrance places around the legislature, be it the importance of uh, the Ukrainian uh, commitment and um, hands in building our province, uh, as well as uh, all sorts of different great memorials and monuments here uh, to fallen soldiers from those who we've lost in, uh, in first responders. There's lots of great spots to, to really review here on the ground. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we have a couple of questions. I'll try to take some of those for you today. I believe that from time to time people uh, have been able to access the bell tower um, and so they uh, maybe have brought a pen with them to mark their um, appearance here. I also know that uh, there's been an engagement here at some point in time where um, some folks who are employed in the building, uh, let's see if I can find uh, it for you. Anyways, uh, from, from on occasion, people that do have the ability to make it to the bell tower uh, will mark uh, their name and, and give indication that they have, uh, which is a very interesting record of, 
of who has been able to uh, to come see this magnificent view here in in the bell tower uh, not sure if we have any other questions uh, but wanted to say thank you so much we will see you again next Wednesday uh, we have uh, an, a number of other great places here around the legislature uh, as always, if there's some particular spot in the building that you'd like to see or story you've heard or uh, thing that you'd like clarity on, feel free to reach out to my office. You can always email me at officeofthespeaker at assembly.ab.ca. Once again, that's officeofthespeaker at assembly.ab.ca. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you'll join question period today as well as we uh, get back or continue the work of Albertans in the legislature uh, talking about the very important issues of the day. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a wonderful afternoon and I'll see you again next Wednesday.